Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how the LTDM subscription resource and the notification function work together. So after you uh, running the LTDM, uh, let's create some uh, resources first. Provision CSE, then uh, let's Let's use another tool to show the notification function. I will use the DGLUX GUI. This is a, a, a GUI that can represent the LTDM resource tree. So um, after I provision a CSE, let's uh, update that. So uh, currently the CSE, it is an empty CSE. So, if I create a resource, container resource, let's say, test container. Okay, so test container. Let's see our DigiLux. So the DigiLux cannot know that somebody at the bank end create a new resource. So we have to retrieve that by click something. So now we know that there is a test container resource under the CSE. So let's draw a picture. So uh, this is IOTDM. We create a subscription inside IOTDM. Then the IOTDM knows that who subscribed to it. Then if something changes or according to the subscription type, then it can send notification to the subscriber according to the uh, subscription subscriber UI to, to send the post notification. Notification is a post, uh, HTTP post. So we just create a test container and under it we create a container too. Also, let's create a container too. So if we create a container too, under, under the test container, like I mentioned above, although the operation is successful, the DigiLux tree, we don't, we don't know that something is changed. So we have to, uh, again, discover the whole tree by hand. Now with the subscription and notification function, we can solve that problem easily. So let's create a subscription under the test container. Actually, the subscription can be created under any resource, so we can if, if that resource changes, then we can send the notification to the subscriber or to anyone uh, in the subscription notification UI. So for example, let's create a subscription under this test container. Then if we create another container, three under the test container, uh, the DGLUX can receive that notification and then refresh this tree. So this DGLUX uh, will link to a DS link and DS link uh, itself has a HTTP server to receive the HTTP post method so that we can refresh the tree if we receive that post method notification. Let's do the process. So if we create a subscription uh, 
So this is a uh, this is a subscription that tells uh, the IOTDM to send notification to the notification URI. This is a uh, DS link HTTP servers address, and uh, the notification event type would be six. Type six means uh, if anything changes under the the subscribed resource we will send notification to the notification URI. Even the children is changed, or children's children is changed, we will send the notification. So this will solve uh, the problem of the DGLUX does not refresh. Let's create the test container, uh, t test subscription under test container. So, after we create such subscription, the DigiLux tree already knows that there is a new test subscription resource goes into this test container. So you see, we don't refresh the tree by hand. It will automatically refresh the tree. Thanks to the subscription and notification function. Once uh, the DigiLux receives such a notification, it will refresh the tree automatically. So let's create, now let's create another test container uh, under the test container. Let's create a container named container3 to see whether the tree will uh, refresh itself. So now let's create a container three. So you see, the test container three, it shows up itself. We don't have to refresh by hand. We can even create um, a children's children resource like uh, test container, uh, test uh, content instance, content instance under this test uh, container three. Because the subscription type is six, it will send any, it will send notification if anything changes, even the children changes. Create a content instance under this test container three, a body send. So you see, this triangle means some resource enters. Now we get the latest content instance.